Hello folks and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon. We are here in Corkscrew Follies and this park, Funtopia, which we're going to tackle today, brings back some really fond memories. This was the first park where you really got to see the magic that was Corkscrew Follies. And I'll go over that in just a second of why. The other parks are cool. They have some options. There's some neat stuff there. But this was the one that was like, whoa. So I remember installing the game. It took forever to install, did its thing. Uh, and then this is actually Funtopia behind us. Uh, but then what I got to do was I just went through each of these that were unlocked just to see what's in there. And this was the one that blew your socks off for lots of reasons. But let's take a look here. Covering both uh, land on both sides of the highway, this park has several rides already operating. We have to have at least 1,400 guests in our park at the end of October year three with a park rating of 600. So let's open it up. We're gonna pause immediately because I wanna explore this park. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And I really wanna go in and take a look and see what is all there and what we all have. Uh, so there's no land for sale. All right, and there's no land to lease either. Uh, we have a corkscrew coaster right out here, which is all well and good. I'd actually rather put that somewhere over there, back there, but we'll leave that alone for right now. We have an oddly positioned Ferris wheel, which is fine. Nothing big deal there. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful monstrosity of a coaster that just pops out of nowhere. Uh, this, this was just such a wow. Okay, wow for a lot of reasons. One, it's your first B&M kind of track coaster here that uh, is a stand-up coaster. Uh, so we have stand-up twist trains. We could also just put regular trains on there. Uh, if we go over here, there's a little drop. It curves around, goes through a big loop. First time there's a large loop that exists. And then a large half loop here. Oh, not only that, another large half loop. Oh, wait, an inline twist on these. Uh, we have just, this is just a wild, wild ride. And I love every bit of this coaster for all of the reasons I've just stated. Uh, but Goodness gracious, this park is just bananas on so many levels, and I just absolutely love it. Uh, so we're going to keep it uh, kind of stock here for a little bit. I'm going to pick some pathing and do some things here because I don't understand why this comes up. I'd rather just have this come down and go over here, and then potentially we could build another pathway somewhere in there uh, to connect up if we wanted to. We could have it come over here, over, and across. We'll see if we want to do that or not. I'm not too sure. Uh, and then let's take a look at how this ride is set up or this park set up. Okay, so we have our set up there with the price for 550, which doesn't seem like enough for me. Um, that, and then we got on this one. 280, what are you talking about? No, it's gonna be five bucks. So some of these are criminally undercharging. That's gonna be seven dollars. All right, let's go through and play with some pathing options and see what that brings us. So we're gonna go all the way to the end here, I think is gonna be the setup for this. And then we can maybe hopefully go in here and do some more work. So I like that kind of setup. That makes me much happier. We're gonna remove some of this stuff here. Let me get rid of vegetation here. I still don't know why my keyboard shortcut for that's not working, but it's driving me bananas. Um, we're gonna remove some of the stuff and this is the first park we've had uh, our workers mowing the grass I think in a long time that used to be default on uh, in the original roller coaster tycoon RCT open RCT should I say has turned that off by default thank god because it's ridiculous uh, but it's on in this park for some reason so we have all of that we're going to remove some of this pathing that's going to cause massive problems because in at least the original RCT double paths uh, caused mass mass problems for the peeps so we need to make sure we don't do that so we're going to go in here and just eliminate some of our potential problems while causing new problems like this guy who is just you know hanging out down near the helix this guy who's also there and this guy who uh yeah he's uh in a spot you're not supposed to be <laughs> okay so we have that there i'm happy with that setup this uh there's a long pathway in there. I think we can move this to a more suitable location. So let's see how close we can get this to that ride. So I can... Hmm. Okay, I can get it about that close. Which actually sounds good, because then I can put the exit right there. There we are. We can get this going just like that. And we'll open that up. Beautiful. 
And I apologize to the purists out there who hate when I remove stuff and move it for no real apparent reason, but it just gives me a better place to go ahead and put stuff on scenery, vegetation. That's what I want. We can put scenery back on. I don't really care about that. All right, so we're gonna spend just a little time doing my thing. All right, so we'll get the basics in there. We still need bathrooms, we need food. We need all of the other things that we still don't have, but we will get shortly. So let's just get this park built out here as quickly as we can with all of the things that it supposedly needs. And then we'll go from there. Doesn't seem like our guests in this park have a very high uh, nausea tolerance, so that's a problem for us, because I like to build bigger roller coasters. So, one, two, three. Now we gotta, forgot to eliminate this area here. I also feel like there's a lot more people taking pictures in this than what there were either in the original game or in my memory. Probably more likely my memory being faulty there, but I don't remember people stopping quite as often to take pictures in the original game, but they seem to be very fond of it in this one. <laughs> and we haven't looked at our ride selection yet. That's okay, we will get there very shortly. And we'll get an idea of what's up uh, here in just a moment. Just gonna complete off this little area. One, two, three. There we go. There we go. And it's a little hard to actually see in there, but that's okay. There, we're cool with all that. All right, let's pause the game real fast, go into our not finances. We want to go into building rides and we have a train, which we will not use. We have a great selection of uh, flat rides in the general ride section. We have an outstanding selection of coasters. Uh, we have a terrible selection of uh, thrill rides and an okay selection of water rides and we have a good selection there. All right, so hopefully that water ride is going to be uh, what we really need it to be, which is a uh, log flume and then we can have everything else go into place here. But let's get the basics all built in here so that we can have this park thrive and do all of the things. All right, so we have that one there. Nope, we're gonna slow this down to normal speed. Don't know why I hit that by accident, but I did. We'll put that bad boy right in there. We're gonna need a bathroom that we can put right there. Put another bathroom back here. And a lot of people don't really put a lot of importance on the bathrooms in this game, but they are incredibly important. It affects your park rating more than most people really want to care to uh, verbalize, but it, it has a big impact on your overall park rating. So you do need to make sure you have bathrooms galore. If you don't, if you think you have enough bathrooms, you probably don't. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this set there. This is just a cool, I really, this little segment right here, it comes up, goes around and goes over and then into, it's just, I watched this for far too long. There's still some problems uh, that the game has. Uh, like you can see, we can't, still can't do the curve. Like why this is not curving going up makes no sense, but it's not part of the game yet. So <laughs> there's a reason for it. All right, let's see what we can do back here. I can get that. I don't want to get that all the way back there. Let's put it in this back corner. Just see how much space we're working with. There we go. We'll do that. We'll do that. Pirate ship, sure. And then we'll just pop that out of existence. Put that one in and open that bad boy up. Do we have, what staff do we have? So we get more staff, we get one more of these guys and we get five of those. That all sounds good. Let's get this park opened up the right way. Um, I'm gonna build this pathway out for a future expansion. It's not happening right now, but it will happen down the road. Uh, well, let's go in and get some of our basic amusement park classic rides in here. So we have those things built for our park. There we 
go. Let's see. We have a scrambler we can still put in, right? We don't have one of those. All right. Uh, I'm going to go. I really like that light blue and white look. I don't know why. It just, I just, I dig it. So that's what we're going to build for this one. Open that bad boy up. Probably put some food things in this area. All right, we have two food areas. We have a bathroom here. There's another bathroom right there. Another one back there. I probably should put another one somewhere over there, but there's just nothing there right now, so I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. I know I'm not taking my advice. Leave me alone. Um, but I will get there with that. Uh, we are going to... I want to keep this area flat, so we're going to keep it as flat as possible. There we go. Again, the whole point of this is just to... Well, I guess I need to build the bridge up. There we go. And I think... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we have the park connected all the way around with pathing, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's turn off vegetation again here. And this is a park that you can, I think, win relatively easily. There's already existing rides that make good money. So it's not like the worst park in the world to build in. Especially because they're good rides, they're not like really terrible rides. There's some parks that they give to you where you're just like, why would anybody have built these rides? And I mean, it makes it more challenging, but you also question your sanity a little bit of why certain things exist uh, in certain parks. So let's go here, that one. Boop, 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 boop. I think I missed one, yeah, right there, okay. So we'll get another info kiosk over here once we borrow some cash. Get another bathroom set up. Yep. And then we're going to set up a food area as well back here. All right. Did we get our new ride? River Rapids. That's a new one here, isn't it? I don't remember this one in the first game. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought this was a... Quirks through Follies game. I, I, it'd be love, I'd love to be proven wrong there, uh, but I don't remember it from the original game. And it doesn't mean it wasn't there, it just means I don't remember it. Uh, so that's a ride that's awesome because it can fit into a lot of tight spaces. You don't need a lot of space to build one uh, to have it to have good ratings and to do some fun stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we want to put in here? This area is dying for something, something small. Maybe, can I get... Mouse towers in there. I can get mouse towers in there. Awesome. That's exactly what I want to do. So, will it fit sideways? No. Okay. It's going to go right in there. All right. I need probably need to be able to afford it first. But yeah, it's going to go right there. All right. And then I need to do my always construction to mouse towers. Because, again, it will not work if you don't do this it will just have trains stop on there and you'll get people stuck on it and then you'll start getting complaints so you have to add a lift hill there and on the side it's the only way to make that ride work the way that it should all right we'll do that we don't have any green over here so we'll put some green in place there we go And then we need to have this pathway come up and connect over with this pathway. There we are. Let's get the, through the rides and also through vegetation here. Yeah, my keyboard shortcuts are kind of working and kind of not, so I don't know what's going on with that. And I still have these memorized from childhood, so don't think it's uh, 
me misclicking stuff. But what's cool here is we could easily fit this river rapids ride through this entire area and it would be just an awesome ride. So we might uh, consider doing just that. Uh, it doesn't need a lot of space. And again, it has killer, it can have killer rating, should I say. And you can see, like it, you can turn on a dime. It doesn't require anything to get going. Get some whirlpools, get them spinning. Some more whirlpools. Then we can go down. Can go over some rapids. And then turn it. You can have fun with it. You can go in and uh, kind of like have it. So I'm going to have it cut through this mountain. We'll throw on another whirlpool right there. Get rid of that tree for now so I can see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> and then we'll go back in and do some waterfalls. How much money can we borrow? Okay, let me pause this real fast. Okay, up to 15. Okay, we don't need much more to build this ride, I don't think. So go in, another whirlpool. We're gonna have this drop underground, I think, because why not? And then it's gonna go in some rapids. And come around here. We can even have it do waterfall. Now it needs to, okay, let's have it drop one more. So the rapids, what they do is when you build this on, if it uh, you have it going over that, it will maintain the uh, speed a little bit, which is always fun. And then we can go through some waterfalls. And then we should be able to have this ride come up. Uh, where am I at here? Okay, so let's see. Okay, I guess we're just gonna go the other way with this. Let's go back on. I see through the rides so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And there it is. All right, not a not a, like a complicated ride in any way, shape, or form, but again, it can just bring in lots of people for no real apparent reason. Uh, so take a look. This could take 11 boats, 12 boats, 13 boats. Let's stick with 12. We'll test it. We're just going to leave it as it's River Rapids. So it sounds like a good name, I guess. And then we're going to build the ride itself. And it's just going to go over here and go directly into that. Cool. All right, let's do some work here. Make sure that we have some vestitutive kind of theming here. Some that looks like something was done that people care about. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so there we go. All right. Uh, and then you can go in and do all kinds of fun little things to hide some of this stuff. I don't really care about that. It's, it's an amusement park. I don't care. It's not a theme park. It's an amusement park. It's supposed to be fun. So we'll add on some trees to give it a little theming. Throw in some bigger trees. What else do we want to throw in? Some of these looking guys. There we go. And I always love when I can keep a original like support. Like if I were to put something that support goes away, but it looks much more natural with it kind of just in that open spot there. All right, so boat one, where are you at? Oh, we have to just go, go, go. Waiting on boat one to come back to the station. All right, so it's uh, a minute and 33 seconds, so 93 seconds. 
divided by 12 is going to bring us just under 8 seconds. So we're going to put that at 7 as the maximum wait time. And a minimum wait time we can put as 5. We'll put both those on. And this is going to be a $3 ride, I think. Yeah. And then we'll open that bad boy up. And again, this thing is a capacity monster. How many people fit on these rafts? Oh, 8 people times 12. Capacity monster. Another capacity monster right here that actually is getting a decent line. Let's see if we can optimize this one a little bit better because I remember it not being well optimized for what it is. Um, and I really like to have the, the trains pulling in the station as the other one's leaving. So let's see here. Uh, we could also modify this with OpenRCT to put a brake run in there, like a proper brake run. Um, well, let me see real fast. Does it have any optimization? No, it does not. Okay. So uh, it's 103 seconds divided by two is going to give us 51 and a half. So that is going to be a maximum wait time of 45 and a minimum wait time of 40. Wait for a full load and definitely leave if something else opens up and that will be fine. This one we also have to not optimize, but I want to make sure we're waiting for a full load and we wait for 60 seconds at least. This one we need to make sure it has, yeah, it's at 10. How about you? What are you at? This one was randomly at 20 for some reason. All right. So we're doing the job there. I th I'm happy with all of that stuff thus far. We have our one random person who is just walking around and can mow grass, but isn't mowing grass. It doesn't make any sense. That's fine. Let's see, we got a launch free fall. Fantastic. That's going to make sense somewhere farther back in the park where we don't have a ton of guests right now but we can easily build some capacity back there. So we're just gonna go up to 105, I think, is more than enough for that. Have that set there, that goes there. Let's just increase that speed to that. We'll go to car one, making sure it doesn't say crashing. Oh, it's perfect. We're just gonna call it blast off, yay us. So we already have a blue line back there, so we're going to do a red line. Sorry, Grapevine, we'll get out of your way. And that's going to cost a nice four bucks. And we can open this bad boy up no problem at that pricing. I think we'll be just fine. We already have somebody in line. And they say it's a really good value. That's what I like to see. No thoughts on Grapevine. What are we thinking on Mouse Tower? Oh, Mouse Tower isn't open. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Alright, so that's making us $8,000 an hour. This bad boy is making us what? 11000 That should be more. This one is going to make us more money here as uh, we continue to get more guests in the park. But it's not a super happening park yet. We're only at uh, 600 guests. And again, this one's not a hard one to win. Um, there's plenty of opportunities to just knock this one out of the park really easily. Uh, but it's also a fun one to just kind of play and see what you can do with it. So that's what I'm going to do here today is just kind of play with it a bit more and see what exactly we can do. So we're going to go up like so. See, this is when I get into trouble because there's no reason to have a maze exist like this, but I think it's fun. I think it's a neat idea, so I'm just going to build it, and that will be that. Alright, and let's see. Do I want to, I want one more block out so I can put the entrance there and then have it curve over there, I think is what I want to do. Alright, so the entrance is going to go there on that side the exit can go right there all right now we can put a little line on there obviously a green line not a super long line we have a top spin which is not a good choice for this park but that's okay and we can have it because it needs maintenance apparently but you can go up to 64 people which is just insane i really love the increased limits and uh, other modifications that this game has done. It just, it, it really makes a world of difference on a lot of the uh, 
end gameplay of this one. So, let's see. We're across from there, we're going to put in that. We need to make our two dollars. Now we'll open this bad boy up. And there we go. You can see we really haven't used that much land. Um, we moved this over, so we saved a little space there. All of this is basically built around this. That was not super usable land before. Uh, this guy's in its footpath, and then we have this area we filled in. Uh, we still have a whole other half of the park, essentially, that we haven't even touched. Uh, which is exactly what I wanted. Alright, that guy's at least relatively close. Finance-wise, we're not doing the best, so let's go ahead and uh, do an advertising campaign for Grapevine. We have $1,600. So we're going to do it for about that amount of money and hopefully just get some more people in this park. Although the line is filling up for this, which is awesome. So if we look at Grapevine here, it's a five minute wait. And uh, we are pretty much maxing that out if we wanted to. I wish there were the drop down still there. So you could, what you used to be able to do is hit a drop down and see how many trains you could put on with, like, without closing the ride. On this one, you have to close it to get it to work, uh, which is fine. What are people thinking here? They love it. And see what I say when uh, it's going over down this drop here? It's going to keep its speed and then slow down once it hits regular water. But you spin a lot, go down a drop, get dumped on, spin in more, and then you get go through that. <clears throat> that all looks good to me. I'm happy with that. We may consider another pathway over here to connect in, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, and let's continue our ride building streak here because we've been busy at work right now going through and building on all of the rides that we could possibly get into this area of the park um, so we actually can fit in a ride right there which we're going to do Put the spiral slide i'm still not sure why there's not an increase of five people for this but whatever i'm gonna bring it down to just a buck and that one's gonna be yellow Oh, there's, ice, there's the icy stall there. Okay, we can fix that problem. Let me just remove vegetation. <laughs> All right, we're going to close that. Demolish it. We'll just move over one. And then our pathway here. There we go. Open that bad boy up. And this area has become a little, little hidden gem back there. Uh, as far as rides go, there's lots of stuff there. Uh, how long is this line? It's only five minutes. That's not bad at all. This one has to be a long line, right? Eight minutes? Yeah, you guys have been waiting in line for a while. So let's add some TVs. Because usually it only gets this long of a line when it rains. And that's about it. Um, I'm also going to take this opportunity to stop that ride entrance. Just so we can make it a touch longer. It's not much longer. It's... Almost the same length, but uh, it takes up a little less space. There's more area there to do things. And I'm deciding if I want to put a coaster here or over here. I think back here makes more sense. We don't have the money to do it yet. We will. We just don't have it yet. Um, just things are breaking down like crazy in this park. Oh, I didn't open that one. But we had the, the blast off, grapevine, the Ferris wheel, and the pirate ship all fail within the same rough timeline as each other. Uh, I am a big fan of making sure we have a full loop, like two loops here, so you can get out over the main bridge or the back bridge is what I'm going to call that. And then we'll probably have another pathway out this way eventually here. Nope, not that one. I want the dirt. So eventually we'll have it go like that. Oh, we can't even go there. Okay, we have to come over one. There we go. All right, and I'll eventually have that fade into this line as well. So that hall all hopefully should make a little bit of sense. And I'm gonna do me, and I'm just gonna, as we're hoping to unlock more rides, We can go in here and do all of that. And 
and vegetation. You were really driving me crazy on it. What did I just... No, I don't want to see through ride vehicles. I want to see through vegetation. Oops, I did not mean to connect those. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Here we go. I am not a good clicker right now. Goodness gracious. I'm being too spastic. I just I don't want this one to be over. Um, but I already know I'm going to win it. So I'm a little anxious to get it done with. Because I already know what's going to happen here. We are the tidiest park in the country. And for good reason. We care about the tidiness of our park. And then uh, we're going to get another bathroom back here. Once we can afford it. I'm actually going to take out a loan to do that. And we'll put a fruit icy stall back there as well. Rotor drop. Again, another good ride. Not the ride we need for this park. That's okay. And let's put some simpler rides back here. What I'm imagining is we're going to eventually have a coaster based somewhere back here and we can use the general rides to try to build the people up to their tolerance of those things. Let's see. We have, 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 do not have, do not have. All right, let's, let's bite the bullet. Let's do it. All right, that sounds about right for that. We'll test that out because I'm very dubious about what's going to happen with that ride once it gets built. Oops, put that in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put something there. What is that something? Probably an info kiosk. And let's take a look what we have. Medium, high, high. I can, I can roll with that. Open that one up. Cool. We've got some very simple rides pulling out here, but the, we should be making some cash. This one's at almost, uh, that's 4,600. This one's at 9,200. This one is at 7,000. What is this guy making us? Please be a lot. Yeah, this is making us just as much as Mouse Towers. Awesome. Even our Ferris wheel here, making money. Not a lot of money, but money. Twist is making double. Ferris wheel, or, sorry, carousel. Ferris wheel over here. Uh, making next to nothing. Why is it making so little money? What do people think? Yeah, I know they want to go on something worth throwing. Everybody wants... Ferris wheels are like the worst amusement park ride. Can we agree on that? Like, it's my absolute least favorite ride to go on. Um, the only exception to that being like a beach or like a really, really scenic spot. But unfortunately, most amusement parks aren't all the scenic. There's lots of concrete and open pathways and stuff. And just not the best. Some parks are beautiful. But most, I would argue, are not all that beautiful, quite honestly. All right. Do we go with a go-kart challenge? Because we have it go under this. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? So, we'll have it be built like that. It's going to go up. We can go over the pathway for a hot second. There come back down race like that race in there turn turn okay that works let's see and on this we can't really do any more the station length really does determine the number of cars that you have three laps sounds fair four dollars sounds more fair Put in our exit path for that, and then we'll put in our line. Yeah, we can open that up. Now, in a long time for Roller Coaster Tycoon, you have to make sure on rides or pathways like this, you can put in an exit and don't enter sign, because occasionally, it didn't happen all the time, but certain parks are more prone to it than others, uh, you'd have people who wanted to go down this and get, would get stuck here while they were trying to exit the park. Uh, so. 
you had to make sure that you kind of had a, a backup plan for that to get all the stuff there. And when they could close those up, uh, it definitely allowed a lot to go on. All right, let's do an advertising campaign for the go-karts so they can get free rides. So nobody wants going on right now. And you can go on a go-kart and we'll do that for eight weeks because it doesn't really matter. It's not a high cost ride and doesn't impact us much of anything. We're starting to get some people on there. If nobody in the queue line. The overall view, we are eight people in, so we need four more. We'll get that done. We are already at uh, just about a thousand guests and uh, we have to get to 1200 or 1300, 1400, excuse me. All right, so we have another 400 or so guests to go. And I'll honestly, one big coaster um, that's probably gonna exist somewhere back here. We'll do that, but we'll find out. We also have space for another coaster over here, uh, along with some more flat rides. Uh, speaking of that, we have a motion simulator coming our way. Beautiful, that's a great ride to have. Um, we can fit that in a really tiny spot. Like we could theoretically put it right there with an entrance exit with no lines or anything, but it's probably gonna go over here or more than likely back here somewhere uh, to fill in this area, just a, a touch more. Um, I could put more uh, of the general rides back there, but it, I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense for what we're doing right now. I might put a crooked house in here uh, just to, again, to try to encourage that, but people are paying and they're happy, so I'm not too worried about any of that. Let's see how this inaugural run of our go-karts goes. Where is cart one at? Is it in the lead? Cart one is decidedly in the lead. And he doesn't get a victory lap? Did they change that? Oh, there's also uh, continuous circuit mode, which is the dumbest of all the modes in this game. Hoover, who goes on a go-kart for that? It's just the most hilarious thing ever. All right, they're saying it's good value and that it was great. Fantastic, that's what we want. Other guest thoughts, let's take a look. We haven't looked here. Most guests uh, are sick, not hungry, not thirsty. Uh, oh, see, bathroom. So they need to go to the bathroom. Okay, that's mostly happening. So that one already has a bathroom right over there, correct? Is there a bathroom over there? Oh yeah, it's right there, okay. On this back pathway. Do we have a bathroom? Yeah, we have a bathroom right there, okay. I'm good with the stuff we need. It's probably just because people are drinking a lot. All right. We are also making money. Uh, you can see that we've been paying down our loan rather steadily here. We have our motion simulator, which is our newest attraction. It is going to be built. That's kind of like an instant build for me uh, most of the time. I think this back pathway here needs a little bit. There's nothing really to spice that area up at all. So I'll throw that in there like so. Get that, get that. There we go. Got that bad boy, $3, I think. And I'm gonna change that instead of Avenging Aviators. No, we'll leave it as Avenging Aviators. Put it up. Um, this one, you don't really need to change the uh, ride on. The 3D Cinema, you really need to change the the, the ride or the film that it's showing. Um, it does get better ratings the other films. I think Storm Chasers is the highest rated one, if I remember correctly. This is just beautiful. With 50... Something people in line, 56 people on the ride. How many people are on this one? That's always my favorite one. There's only 25 people on the ride. All right, so maybe we need to give away some free rides on that. What are we, our popularity is not as good as I'd hoped. Uh, it has worse popularity than Grapevine, which not always the best case where your more intense coasters have more popularity. It's a good, good problem to have because it means you can build more intense coasters, but you also don't want that to be the case for a lot of things because it's better to have uh, more popularity on the simpler rides because they're cheaper to build and just in general easier for everything. So <laughs> just keep that in mind uh, if you're ever doing stuff. But yeah, this bad boy has really good popularity. This one's decent, but it needs to be better. We're going to advertise for it, I think, and hopefully draw in some new people. Uh, so we don't have the monorail cycles because it's a terrible ride. We don't have a crooked house yet. That's probably going to go in soon. Um, we have, 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 do not have, do not have, do not have, have. Uh, over on the coastal world, um, we only have this guy and this guy. We don't have anything else. So we could really easily throw in a shuttle loop to get people. Um, 
But we already have a shawl coaster. We have two complete ones. Oh, we also, I forgot we had this. Uh, I really want to build a twisted wooden coaster here. I think that's going to be fun. And I want to see what I can do with it. So, let's see. Where are we going to build this line at? I'm just going to do it like this, I think. Let's go this way. Get that down. Down, there we go. I don't think it's going to be a super tall coaster per se, but I want it to be more intense than what some of our other rides have been so far. Because apparently that's what they love in this park is intense rides. So we're going to give it to them. And we're going to have to take it alone. I forgot about that part of this. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have a lot of money to build with, but hopefully we'll be able to do something here. So I'm, I'm considering the budget more than I should on this one, but I want to make sure that I'm able to get it built. This park does not have any out and back style coaster, but I think that's okay. It doesn't really need one. We're just about out of money, so hopefully we can bring this coaster to a close very quickly. So, I need to bring it out one more. So, I'll have it... Nope, not. Now we can have it turn and do that. Come out like so. Actually, we can wrap it up even more like that there, just waiting on some cash well, this is our first rainstorm we've had so we should be able to at least get uh, any ride like that's going to fill up pretty quickly we don't have a lot of indoor rides honestly we'll be alright we'll hit brakes All right, I'm happy with that. I think. <laughs> we'll find out when the ratings come in. All right, so let's go ahead and test it. I want to paint that desperately because... I don't know, I don't like that look on them. So let's go with the... this honeydew? What color is that? No, light brown. There we go. Okay, and... So it's moving through here. Pretty good clip. It has plenty of speed to get up there. And it's going to come in the brakes at like 30. Yeah. Comes in at almost 40 miles an hour. I'm, I'm very cool with that. So let's get rid of the vegetation so that I can work my magic. And build lines. Now I'm making... A ridiculous line for this because I think we need to have one that has a big line that can sustain some people through it. So let's see. Cool. Five dollars sounds fair. 
I don't have it on the right photo section again, or I could really uh, make this thing go, but we're going to call it Splinter. And I need to take a look at stats there. A minute, nine sec seconds, so 34, 69, nice. Um, so 35, or it's 34 and a half. Let's go with uh, max wait time of 30, minimum wait time of 27. Wait for a full load and open her up. And we are making more money, even though we took out max loans. So let's do an advertising campaign for Splinter. I know I was going to do it for the river ride, but I got distracted. Leave me alone. And in all honesty, that might be enough to win us this whole thing. We'll find out here soon enough, I guess. And we're going to close this area right here off because there's a food area and people are sitting and I want anybody who's sick from this ride to have the space to sit as opposed to uh, the guests who are eating food. All right, so do we have anybody on that first train? Yeah, we have two people. I kind of dig how that one looks. It's very fun. All right, that should be pulling out here in a moment. It's going to get breaked up for just a second, but here comes a whole bunch of people. Can't afford it. Uh-oh. You know, he only has three bucks left. He's in line for the Haunted Mansion because it's all he can afford. All right, we have two guests. Let's take a look and see what they do. Or no, more than two guests. We got lots. Oh, yeah. There they go. Splinter was great. Splinter was great. Good. Oh, you guys have... You guys have some cash too. Well, one of you has some cash left. The other one doesn't have much of anything. All right. That leaves this area back here for development and this entire area over here for development. I'm going to slowly pay back some of this loan, but I do want to keep building rides. We have a 3D cinema that we're going to absolutely get built. Um, I think we're going to put it over here. So let's get that as our next uh, ride that we will tackle here. That is the ugliest color that we could imagine for that, so we're going to absolutely have to paint that. My mouse really hates, or this game hates my mouse. One of the two. Come on, just give me gray. Give me gray. There we go. Okay. So $2 is fine. That's fine. And then Storm Chasers are... Uh, what, space Raiders? Space Raiders, yeah. Either one of those is fine. Alright, well, there's our entryway here. Or we learned last time not to make that too long, or people get mad at you. We could very easily put a little mini coaster in here. We have some options for that. We still have more thrill rides coming our way. Jeez. All right, so we have all throw rides with the exception of a top spin right now, which I think is still a wise choice. We have one, two, three, four different types of coasters. We're going to probably put it in a, a shuttle loop somewhere. It's been a while. So, oh, to the original game, we can put a shuttle loop in. Um, we also can uh, pretty easily put in a classic mini coaster in this area. So I think that's going to be dedicated for the coaster. Somewhere to do some stuff in there and open this area. And then shuttle loop is either going to fit in here. Or what I've done in the past, I remember this when I was a kid, uh, I put it across this area here. Uh, and I also had another one over here just to try to draw more people in. But I don't play the game that way where we're just building cheap little rides to, uh, to entice people to come to our park. I'm hoping that uh, we can build things well enough that we don't have to do that. But if you do, it's okay. If you don't, also okay. So let's go ahead in here. So we're going to do that. I think that's just fine. And we're just going to have a nice little time here. We just need more cash. And I'm not sure where it's going to end. Usually I can tell where it's going to Oh, no. Usually I can tell where it's going to the ride's going to end uh, as far as, like, closing up. But on that one, this one I don't really know. So let's see here. 
So we're gonna have to come out here, turn around here, do some other stuff, and then come in here, I think is the plan. <clears throat> so do that. And have we go maybe drop down, turn if we have enough space, I don't know if we will or not. No, no, we're definitely not gonna have enough space. We're probably gonna, yeah, we're probably gonna have to have it go out around. I wanted to originally have a drop and go through there, but we're gonna have to come here, then do another uh, helix and go out that way, I think, is what is going to be the current thinking. And we'll do a smaller one. There we go. Swing inverter ship. I forgot about that one. Don't really care for it. It's fine, I guess. And this is going to be a brutal little kitty ride, and I love it. They should be going pretty quickly around this last turn here, but we're out of the money, so we gotta make some money here. Alright, that was, that was shockingly easy to make that money. Block breaks, and we'll have it go into there. Okay. So we're gonna put the entrance over there, the exit will be over there. We're gonna have it come up and over into that area, mainly because with the coaster coming across the station and our food stuff there, we don't have space for an entrance and an exit line to coexist. All right, so let's see. Do we have rocket cars? No, lady, or let's see. Log trains or ladybugs. I think ladybugs look better. We can also get more of them. And I forgot that you can reverse them. That was a, I totally forgot that. So we're gonna call this ladybug flight. Or flight of the ladybugs, I guess would have been better, but that's fine. We'll go with yellow there. Do some red track. If my game wants to let me. There we go. Oof, that's way too bright. Let's tone that down a bit if the game lets me. There we go. Okay, that looks better. All right, and let's increase the speed of lift hill and test this bad boy out. And it should be a nice quick ride that cycles through people without any real problems. And we are flirting. We only have less than 100 guests to go before we have uh, reached our goal here. So you can see it's, uh, it's moving by the end of this helix. It should be around 30-ish uh, miles an hour. Got up to 28. Okay. It's so going to go through here. Just kill off a little speed. Gain a little speed. Come up. It whips through there. <laughs> that spot right there is going to be it's going to be fun. All right. So we'll see what that brings us. Medium, high, yeah, we got a high intensity kitty ride, heck yeah. All right, we're gonna open that up and then we need to build the line for it. Which we'll build like so. There we go. Okay, that should... What lines are too long? If it's the, uh, it's, you know it's gonna be. Oh, we, we ran out of thrill rides finally. Okay, we'll take general rides and roller coasters. Um, even though we're not gonna last that long. It's gonna be, it's, it's definitely the 3D cinema. Where did I put that thing? There it is. It's, what's the line on this? Nine minutes, that's not bad. What ride has the longest uh, queue time? 
Nine minutes for Mouse Tower. Splinter has a nine minute line? Heck yeah. Look at that. Okay. Those are easy problems to solve though. We can get all of that taken care of. Okay, that's that part's gonna be taken care of. We'll throw you over here. And you must entertain everybody there. Mouse Towers. Another one that we need to... We checked this earlier and it said only five. I guess it just hadn't updated it. Let's add another entertainer. And you're gonna exist there. And you're only gonna be able to visit that area. Okay, and what was our last ride that had the ridiculous? There's three of them ahead. Nine minutes. The uh, 3D set. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hire you. You go over there. And here's your new space to exist. Alright. Alright, we'll solve that problem. We don't have that much left that I think we need to do here. This is a waiting game at this point. We're not actively advertising. If I just put in ads for. Let's go free uh, rides on. River Rapids? Yeah. How many people are on it right now? Only 20 people. It's profitability has gone down, as has most of our rides. That's 9,200. That one was, was 90, or 46, but now it's down to 42. 72. This one's still up and coming. This one's 8,400. Okay. See, that's just, oh, that's profit per hour, so, yeah, okay. That's a better way to sort things. The only one that's not making money is the Ferris wheel. Why is it not making money? Let's just make it cheaper. Alright, yeah, this ride's doing well. So that guy should clear that, hopefully. Although I made him slow down big time. But man, with this one, with put this ride, even though it has substantially less people that are able, it's 48 versus 56. That doesn't sound like a big difference. It is. Um, but really what's holding this guy back is if we would have just uh, extended this like one more over or maybe made that, uh, that wouldn't have worked there. But we could have done something pretty easily, maybe made a straight spot there and then came around uh, with an on-ride photo. We could have made a lot of money uh, with just that. But that's okay, we didn't do that. Uh, and I believe there's a spot in here that you can do that as well. I think you can take away one of those station spots and still keep the train to the same length. I think, I'm not positive about it, but I think that was the case. Cause I used to do it uh, and that was a way to get cheap money. Uh, especially, it didn't get bought all the time, but it was cheap money, which is what I needed at the time. Uh, so you spend like what, $56 or something on the uh, on-ride photo and then you can generate a lot more profit than that uh, very quickly. All right, so let's check back in with the ladybug here. Yeah, now it says it's up to over 5,000 and we're doing good. Let's see, what else can we squeeze into this park? What do we get? Oh, we got mini golf. <laughs> what I also used to do as a seal coaster, I'd use boosters and have it be like a transportation system around the park. Instead of building a monorail when I didn't have a monorail or I wanted something that could bring in more money, you do multi-station and just have it launch between them. People ate it up. It was great. I don't know why it worked, but it did. All right, so let's see here. We have, we need this guy and that guy, which neither one I want to build. All right, we need a crooked house because we don't have one. I think it's going to fit in that area quite nicely. Put them there like that and like that. And I think, yeah, we're going to have another pathway come up here. And connect over there. And then we're going to head out this way at some point. All right, Crooked House. Does not have a lot of space. It's only gonna cost 50 cents. 
And we'll open that one up. Alright. Two, three. So yeah, I still remember some of the keyboard shortcuts. One goes underground. Five gets uh, rid of supports, which is always welcomed. Especially when you build stuff out. But it doesn't take away much either, so... There we go. Like, getting rid of supports leaves just enough that you can see everything without a problem. I really like that button. Alright, got another general ride coming our way. Got space for a ride right in there. I'm not sure what I want to put in right now. I'm not sure what I need to put in. We're going to win this pretty soon, I think. And we could just advertise for the park if we wanted to for 700. So we can go for four weeks. Boom. All right, that should be a win. Let's speed it up. What has the line gotten up to? Nine minutes? Are people still complaining about it? No, see? The entertainers took care of any of the problems we had. Oh, so there we go. We have the scenario one. If you take a look here, we've built a uh, 3D cinema and our little uh, coaster here that continually pick up speed. We uh, got a little flat ride section, a little water ride action, uh, another coaster here. Uh, we have road drop, all that stuff there with a stupidly long line that could have been a more profitable coaster if we thought it out a little more. And then we have all this. So that was a, that's a pretty fun little park uh, with a lot of options and a lot of ways to go. I really like this park because there's a lot you can build right out of the gate. And I don't think I actually would have needed to research anything in order to win this one. You could have gone with just no research and stock rides and won. But folks, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.